Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about a tool that I just recently discovered this week. It's called SuperDev. And basically in SuperDev, you can create simple things like landing pages or, you know, chat GPT clones like this, where you can basically ask it anything like explain to me what quantum physics is, right? And then basically, you know, using a open AI API generates a response like this. And you can basically save your different chats over here on the on the left, right? And yeah, so basically simple, simpler apps like this. You can also do a little bit things that are a little bit more advanced using different types of APIs. Like this one, as you can see, this is using some, some TMDB uh, API, I think it's called. And basically we have a movie dashboard, we have popular movies, we can basically favorite different movies and you can see your favorites over here, right? And you can see top movies based on the specific API. So Shawshank Redemption is like the top rated movie of, of all time based on this API. But yeah, this is another quick example. And one of the things that I really love about SuperDev is that the authentication system, the way to set up authentication is so easy and it's so simple to just set up and it looks great, right? In this case, this is a very simple way of doing it, but you know, you can sign into this specific app, app click on continue with Google, then you can basically just click on one of your emails and then you have like this newsletter dashboard where you can create a campaign or you have your old you have your older campaigns you have your different subscribers over here different emails you can basically add subscribers it saves it to a specific database and that's actually the next point that I want to kind of quickly cover databases is also very easy to set up and maintain inside of superdev so usually when you use tools like lovable right you have to connect it with superbase so there's a nice connection between something like Lovable and, and Superbase, but uh, with SuperDev, you can easily maintain and build your backend inside of their chat, right? And not have to deal with Superbase. And the UI basically looks like this, right? Build full stack apps in seconds. We have this nice design with this gradient. What do you want me to build? You can attach images. You can chat with the AI before you actually build. Or, or during the build process, similar to Lovable, and you get some different presets, right? We can start off with something like a community platform or a, a AI-powered e-commerce store. Let's go ahead and do community platform. Let's click on that. So create a community platform for a group of people who share a common interest, let's say in gaming, right? Click on submit. And basically SuperDev gives us design inspiration, Discord-like interface with clean navigation and chat style interaction. So you can see kind of has that Discord vibe in terms of the coloring, um, in terms of the, the side panel, stream community features. That's what I also saw. It kind of also looks like stream, Reddit style discussion threads, modern gaming aesthetics with dark themes and vibrant accents. So it's kind of a mix between Discord, Reddit and Steam which is pretty cool, right? It has a little bit of the three of, of these different platforms. And it's nice that SuperDev, you know, starts off with this design inspiration and then comes, starts to, to basically develop the features, which are user profiles, discussion forums, game reviews and ratings, community events, real-time chat, gaming news, and leaderboards. And then basically it creates these core components based on those features. So we have the dashboard, we have the forums over here, we have the games library, we have events and we have modern UI. So the, basically the, 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 the whole theme around this whole app. Yeah, so basically we have different games over here. We have a, you know, user authentication. Eventually this, this app would require that. And basically what you can do is you can publish this, um, click on publish down here, and then basically it generates this link for you to open in a new tab. So you can go here and click on this icon and it basically opens in a new tab. And you can see it says sign into, you know, our app, right? It gives us some, some random name at first, which we have to basically change. But when going up here to manage, right, we have some different features. We have data management, we have backend features, we have app settings. So this is where we can basically name the app. We have domains, right? We have authentication which is probably one of my favorites. So basically authentication and backend. It's what I'm going to dive into in, in this video today. And we have the GitHub connection. So you can connect it directly with your GitHub. Now I want to go into this authentication uh, over here 
And basically, if you click on this authentication tab, you have a few settings that you can address here. So we have the app name signed into my application. Let's call this like gaming, gaming forum. And we can say like, welcome back guys, please sign in to continue gaming, right? And then we can put 2025, Mike, uh, we could put like uh, Lucas, Marjorie, YouTube. And then you can edit some of the visual design. So if we go down here, we can edit the, the background color to be a, a dark mode, right? So we can click on this and make it like a, like a dark mode. We can make the card background also a little bit of a dark mode. We can get the primary button. We can make the text color, the this one be white. The secondary text be a little bit gray. The primary button can be, you know, we can make it orange if we wanted to, something like this. The card position can be in the center, can be left, can be right. I think center would be nice. We can add a shadow to it. You can see this more in the uh, light version, but you can basically do a bunch of these different changes. Let's say like, for example, two pixel, pixel border radius, click on save changes. And then logo and branding, right? Logo, we can, you know, add some your image URL or we can upload a, an image. So basically it's a bunch of nice, you know, abilities to customize your authentication with the specific interface, right? So let's click on choose file. I'm just gonna choose some random gradient that I generated. And then as you can see, it starts to load and it appears over here. You can create, make the logo huge if you wanted to. You can make it really small like this. This case, I'm just gonna keep it really small. Go back here, click on save changes again. And what we can do is just republish it. And when we click on the open a new tab, you can see right here, sign into gaming forum. Welcome back guys, please sign in to continue. We have our bright orange color, as you can see that we created, but, and we see that the radius is not so rounded like we had before, but yeah, this is just a quick little example of, you know, easily editing the authentication and not even telling like the, the the AI already knows that your app needs authentication, so you don't even tell you don't even need to tell it to create authentication. And then my next favorite thing is the backend functions. So we can click on enable backend functions, and then we can say we can ask the AI to basically you know whenever someone gets authenticated, create you know have some type of backend system to track the users for the app. All right, and now we have different backend functions like tracking the user activity getting community analytics, tracking tracking user sessions, getting user analytics. So this is pretty interesting stuff. And it also created this, you know, database uh, for comments, events, games, posts, reviews, users, user activity, user analytics, user sessions. So let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, click on publish, publish this. And then what we can do is we can open this URL again over here. Let's continue with Google and I'm signed into my account. And now what I wanna do is I just wanna go back into super dev and kind of see the information being loaded over here. And you can see under user, right? We get uh, my email with my name, right? Based on my email. And you can see what time it was created, what time it was updated. We can also see the different types of databases that we have here. We have the different games, right? The different tags, the genres, the titles, the platforms. We have the posts that have been set up and we have different events, different comments, user activity, right? As you can see what the user has done, user analytics, favoriting uh, specific games, user sessions. So this data management thing is pretty powerful and it's all inside of SuperDev, which is pretty interesting because like I said before, in a lot of these like tools like Lovable or like V0 or Bolt, you have to kind of connect with third-party backend tools. And we can already we can also you know connect APIs to our apps. So in this case, we can you know build out this uh, movie hub again and connect it to the uh, TMDB uh, API. So TMDB is basically the movie database, and it's a public API that you can connect to. So create a movie showcase with the TMDB API. Let's click on submit. And then basically we can see that we get our movie showcase over here. We get this movie deep cover, right? API is already connected because you can already start seeing that these are real movies with real reviews and real descriptions about these movies. So you can just start off with just one prompt and create a, you know, 
connect it with a simple API like the one with TMDB. And you can, for example, use this element selector, select this button one, for example, and say like delete this button if you don't really want it, right? Click on, on submit. Pretty similar to, to what Lovable does. A lot of these AI tools do that as well. And then basically you can see it's removed, you know, pretty easy. And then we can chat with the AI and see like where in the code can I find the API key? And as you can see, the API key for TMDB is located in the file sources library TMDB. And then we can see over here TMDB.ts. And then here is our API key. So that's a really cool way of, you know, managing and making sure that you know where everything is, right? So in this case, we can ask the AI, like where exactly did you store the API key? It kind of points that out to you and then you can actually go into the code and look for it yourself. And then once you're done, you can easily connect the domain. You know, SuperDev gives you this default domain, but you can connect the domain like this, add in your domain name and just basically replace the records. As you can see, basically replace these records, two A names and one C name to your domain provider. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tool. I really liked it. I, I found out about it like two days ago. Um, very, very interesting tool, very powerful, and it, it you know generates things very quickly and in very good quality. And you have a lot of you know control. This is my favorite part. You have a lot of control in the authentication and in the backend functions and data management, right? So you have that all under here in manage, check it out, you, it's, it's free to get started. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.